Second problem. Evaluate integral dx by x into x plus 1 x plus 2. Now, say i is equal to integral 1 by x into x plus 1 x plus 2 dx. Now, partial fractions of this we have to find out. Now, 1 by x into x plus 1 x plus 2 is equal to a by x plus b by x plus 1 plus c by x plus 2 multiply both sides with x into x plus 1 x plus 2. So, a into x plus 1 x plus 2 plus b of x into x plus 2 plus c of x into x plus 1 equals to 1. Now, put x is equal to 0. If you put x is equal to 0, if you put x is equal to 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So, 2a equals to 1, a equals to 1 by 2. Okay. Put x is equal to minus 1. If you put x is equal to minus 1, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. Here minus 1, 1, minus b equals to 1. So, b equals to minus 1. Now, put x is equal to minus 2. If you put x is equal to minus 2, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. Minus 2 into plus 1, minus 1 and minus 2, 2c. 2c is equal to 1, whereas c is equal to 1 by 2. Now, partial fractions. So, therefore, 1 by x into x plus 1 into x plus 2 partial fractions are 1 by 2 by x, b, b means minus 1 by x plus 1 plus c, 1 by 2 by here x plus 2. So, these are the partial fractions. Now, integral we have to find out. Integral means integral of this, integral of this, integral of this. So, i is equal to half common integral 1 by x dx minus integral 1 by x plus 1 dx plus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x plus 2 dx. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 log mod x minus log mod x plus 1 plus of log mod x plus 2 plus constant of integration. Third problem, evaluate integral 3 x minus 2 by x minus 1 x plus 2 x minus 3 dx. i is equal to integral 3 x minus 2 by x minus 1 x plus 2 x minus 3 dx. Now, partial fractions of this function we have to find out. So, consider or now you can say 3 x minus 2 by x minus 1 x plus 2 
x minus 3 equals to a by x minus 1 plus b by x plus 2 plus c by x minus 3. Multiply both sides with x minus 1, x plus 2, x minus 3. We get a into x plus 2 into x minus 3 plus b into we get x minus 1 into x minus 3 plus c multiplied by x minus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to we have 3 x minus 2. Now, put x is equal to 1. If you put x is equal to 1, so this become 0, this become 0. 1 plus 2, 3, 1 minus 3, minus 2, minus 2 into 3, minus 6 a, minus 6 a equals to 3 minus 2, 1. So, a equals to minus 1 by 6. Now, put x is equal to minus 2. If you put x is equal to minus 2, this become 0, this become 0. Minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 3 and minus 2, minus 5. Minus into minus 3, 15, 15 b, 15 b is equal to now minus 2 into 3 minus 6 minus 8 this will be minus 8 once again minus 6 minus 2 minus 8 b equals to minus 8 by 15 so now put x is equal to 3. If you put x is equal to 3, this these two become 0. 3 minus 1, 2, 3 plus 2, 5. This 5 into 2, 10, 10 c. So, 10 c is equal to 9 minus 2, 7 c is equal to 7 by 10. So, now partial fractions therefore, 3 x minus 2 by x minus 1 x plus 2 x minus 3 equals to minus 1 by 6 by x minus 1 plus minus 8 by 15 by x plus 2 next plus 7 by 10 by x minus 3. These are the partial fractions. Now, we have to find out the integral. So, i is equal to minus 1 by 6 integral 1 by x minus 1 dx minus 8 by 15 integral 1 by x plus 2 dx plus 7 by 10 integral 1 by x minus 3 dx. So, this is equal to minus 1 by 6 log mod x minus 1 minus 8 by 15 log mod x plus 2 plus 7 by 10 log mod x minus 3 okay, plus constant of integration. 